Hello again, and thank you for coming back, stopping back. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming back to my YouTube channel, Del Chanel's 48 Squirrel, where we do only air review, <laughs> exclusively celebrity breaking news. We're going to be going over this bunch of mess going on social media, on our news channel stations. Oh, Lord. We got Matt, Jordan, and Peter Thomas out there, out gone fighting in the streets, or pretty much fighting in the streets, okay? We can say in the media streets. We have an exclusive from the Jasmine brand. Um, Peter Thomas and Kenya Moore ex, Matt Jordan, in physical altercation. That's right, y'all. They got to fight. Okay. The article goes on to read, The JasmineBrand.com exclusively reports things are getting super messy between Real Housewives of Atlanta, Peter Thomas, and Matt Jordan. Earlier this week, the men exchanged not-so-nice pleasantries on social media. If you could say that much, the Jasmine brand. Okay? And according to our sources, things escalated on Tuesday, March 21st. Sources tell us that Matt, who is Kenya Moore's ex-boyfriend, traveled from Atlanta to Charlotte, North Carolina to have a face-to-face -face discussion with Mr. Peter Thomas. Okay? We're told that Matt was approached to do a radio interview with a Charlotte station via phone to respond to Peter's allegations. However, it made more sense for Matt to do the interview in person if he would be in Charlotte. Eventually, Peter allegedly declined to do the interview with Matt. The following day, Peter agreed to do the interview with Matt at his bar in Charlotte. Sources say that immediately things were off to a rocky start as Matt reportedly felt that his concerns were not being addressed in the interview. The pair began to argue. Things turned physical when Matt allegedly saw that Peter had obtained a blade in his hand. I'm like, if that damn Jamaican man didn't go to search for the first thing he could get to. <laughs> I said, Peter, what you going to do with that blade, honey? Was it a samurai sword? Because big, hot, stir, what do you call it? Steroid looking ass Matt looking these days. He going to pounce your behind in one of them walls. He going to ram you, Peter. You ain't going to get a chance to pull up that blade. <laughs> I hope you already got it in red. And not that it has to be like punched down for the knife to come out. Because you need to be on deck. You need to be on point. Okay. But no, no, they said Peter got him a little knife to, repent, to uh, protect himself. Protect himself. Oh, Lord. Okay, we hear that Matt wrestled Peter to the floor. I knew Peter was going to be the one on the floor. I knew it. <laughs> I just knew Peter was going to be on that doggone floor. Oh, catching dust, catching dust. But anyway, they said Matt wrestled Peter to the floor, attempting to protect himself and recover the blade. The fight was reportedly broken up, and Matt left the scene, refusing to sign the radio station's um, released to publish the video of the altercation. Peter has a, also addressed the situation via Instagram. And then, you know, it goes to show where Peter had been, you know, talking and, and you know, saying he's going to put Matt in jail, this, that, and the third. But I'm like, Peter, 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 pick a eater. <laughs> oh, had a girl but couldn't keep her, sent the bailer. All right, Peter, you know you're a lover, not a fighter, man. you too old to be trying to bring out switchblades and shit. <laughs> and you see where it puts you on the flow, brother, on the flow. But anyway, I can't go too far with this story because it was just too hilarious. Too hilarious. All right, y'all. I enjoyed that breaking news bringing you Peter Thomas trying to uh, protect himself against big ass Matt when he submitted to the interview. He knew Matt is a violent person from what they've given us on TV. And of course, the many arrests that he's has had with assault charges, assault charges. So he knows that the man can be 
have a tendency towards violence. So why would he agree to a meeting or an interview and he didn't have people on deck like security <laughs> to protect his assets, meaning his behind? I don't know. But as the story, excuse me, unfolds itself, I'll be here giving you more play-by-play, blow-by-blow with this craziness that Kenya has brought this really dangerous person into all of their lives of the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast. So, peace and blessings to you all, and until next time, bye-bye.